There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And you might be thinking, well, we've seen this one before, but you're wrong. This is 3D Ball Blaster, which is a sort of remake of a LucasArts game called Ball Blazer, and it's completely different from uh, 3D Cyberpunk. See? A totally different game. I'll actually show you now. If we hit uh, New Game with Enter, not Space, Lonnie, and we hit Easy, I'll just walk you through it. This is the shareware version, and uh, you start with a one-stop sport shop where you can purchase additional upgrades for unit prices and when you're done with doing that you just hit escape this looks very familiar except I don't hear any music so you get a little boing sound effect and there's a ball instead of you know a puck because this is ball blaster and not cyber puck and you can hear the ball as you hold it Look at us, go! And there is an opponent, and when he gets close, he starts hitting you. Until you lose the ball. Go on, there we go. Now, we have to get the ball again. But the movement of this game is different. It's difficult to describe, it feels different. You're not quite going straight when you go forward. It's very, very difficult to describe. And as a result of that, the feeling is off. And I can't tell if that's because I played 3D Cyberpunk so much, or... Oh, that's ear-piercing. Or it's maybe some other reason. But yeah, if I head forward, it looks like I'm going in a straight line. When I turn, it just feels like it's sort of... It, it's pulling me. It's difficult to explain, but those who have played Cyberpunk, because, you know, you saw me playing it and you were like, Gee, Lonnie, this looks... Oh, he just got two points because he knocked the ball out of my hands and... Oh, I'm going to lose on easy. This is not good. Come on, Lonnie, game face, game face. But yeah, it, it, it just feels different. And as a result, my performance will not be exemplary. Now let's just head over here. The engine doesn't appear to be as optimized either. So that's something to be aware of. Yeah, it's it's uh, really a sort of... It's really a tale of development, isn't it? You get to see an earlier version of a game that has almost everything in place, but not quite, and was released in that state. And I think the developers themselves, it was Dungeon Entertainment, was it? Must have looked at this and thought, oh, we can do better than that. So there we go. We win. Let's go to the shop. If we can navigate. Oh, you see me trying to get into that door there? And it just failed. Okay, we've opened the door. Let's, let's head to the... Oh, right. I mean, we could buy things, but I, I've already used them in the past. So, this level is identical, it seems, to the 3D Cyberpunk level. It's just a, a case of uh, navigation. Oh, I missed. That was a terrible shot under pressure. So, yeah, it, it's, it's one of those where it genuinely feels like there's no point in playing it. Go on. Oh, terrible shot. Because the mechanics that it has were just fixed so much better in 3D Cyberpunk, which I'll keep mentioning because it's more or less the same game, you know? There we go. We got a goal. I think we'll leave it there. So what is 3D Ball Blaster? Well, let's have a look at the story. It's the year 2212. The world is still the same. The people are still the same. And yeah, that uh, Ball Blaster game story is exactly the same as the Cyberpunk story.
That's what 3D Ball Blaster is. It's just a variant of 3D Cyberpunk. I assume it was released earlier. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't check the dates or anything. But yeah, there's a lot here that isn't quite right. The engine suffers from stuttering and slowdowns. I don't know if that's an emulation issue, but I didn't have the issue on a later version. And the big problem I have with it is, despite all the gameplay elements being there and in the right place, the movement feels off. And if you actually play it yourselves and give it a go, you'll understand what I mean. Difficult to describe, as I've said, but yeah, it just takes me out of it, unfortunately. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. Don't forget my wonderful patrons or members, who I will not be using this title to describe in any way, shape or form. Wonderful people who deserve better treatment than that. So yeah, 3D Ball Blaster. Not worth playing when you have 3D Cyberpunk. Until next time.